everyone. Uh, good morning. I want to welcome you to the latest edition of the Ferry Law Group Live. Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes. Uh, you guys have been great, man. I mean, it, you know, I, obviously getting older is something we all <laughs> all go through. Um, but you guys have made it easier by showing all the love. I really appreciate it. I'm not going to take up too much time today. Um, there was an interesting article that caught my attention this past weekend. Um, I didn't watch too much of, of the Masters coverage. I was actually prepping for trial that was supposed to start this weekend. So um, in one of my breaks uh, in, in the midst of that, there's an article about a guy named Lance, um, Lane Johnson, excuse me. He's an offensive tackle with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, but Mr. Johnson had been caught twice over the last couple of years uh, using performance enhancing drugs. And the first, I guess, time he got caught, uh, he, got a, he caught a four-day suspension. The second time he got caught, uh, the lead up to last season, uh, he had a 10-game uh, a, a suspension. And so in the midst of fighting off those suspensions and trying to get you know, those decisions reversed, he's taken a no-holds-bar approach to litigation. Um, he sued the NFL. Uh, he's also sued the NFL Players Association, his union, which isn't, you know, it, it, that doesn't happen a whole lot in, in the NFL, um, in, in professional sports in general, uh, but it does tend to happen uh, from time to time out in the quote-unquote real world. Um, the National Labor Relations Act, uh, Section 7 and 8, provide for um, uh, affected employees to file what are known as unfair labor practices. Uh, the Federal Labor Relations Act, uh, the Section of 7116, also provides for ULPs. And you can also file ULPs if you're under the Railway Act, which is another labor act. Um, and uh, what folks who, who file ULPs or unfair labor practices who are union members against their own union um, is based on what's known as the duty of fair representation. The history of which um, is important, but I won't spend a whole lot of time on it. Um, traditionally, um, back in the day, unions hadn't always protected all of its members. Um, and these uh, issues really broke around racial lines. There were um, racist and bigot union members who didn't want necessarily to see, you know, the black or African-American union members getting ahead. And so unions often wouldn't take up their, their cases, wouldn't fight for them. Um, and the courts had to step in and say, no, um, as a union member, um, unions, you have a duty to fairly represent all of your members. So um, uh, come up to, to today, uh, Mr. Johnson is, is again throwing a book at his defense. And again, he filed the NFLPA for, for coming down on, on or for, um, he filed the NFL for coming down on him really, really, really hard um, in, in terms of what he thought were, were mistakes. Um, he sued the NFLPA um, for their role in advertising a list of banned substances. substances. Um, the substance that uh, Mr. Johnson had taken, he said, were vetted by the NFLPA. Um, they weren't on the banned list and that the NFLPA was at least negligent in terms of putting this list out. Um, that argument may or may not skip. Um, it, it, it'll depend on, on what the courts say when they weigh in on that stuff. Um, honestly, I, I think Mr. Johnson is, you know, kind of barking up the wrong tree in terms of his uh, coming after the NFLPA. Obviously, ultimately, if every athlete is responsible for what she or he puts into their own body. Um, and Mr. Johnson is really just trying to get any and everybody to, to, you know, stand up and take a hit on this instead of taking, you know, the personal responsibility. Um, but it's interesting to, to see that the NFLPA is now subjected to ULPs by its members. Um, you know, it's a really interesting dynamic. A lot of people don't realize that sports agents, you know, oftentimes are attorneys, uh, but sports agents are, you know, hired for the most part by the players associations. We are agents of the players association. So any NFL agent is actually working for the NFLPA. Um, the only exception that I've come across so far in my professional dealings is FIBA. But if you were a Canadian football league uh, agent, if you're NFL agent, NBA agent, WNBA agent, you know, you're working for the union, right? You are uh, representing players on behalf of the union because the union can't be everywhere. Um, the union, you know, in terms of having staff on the ground. And so if the NFLPA um, is having these agents out here that are assisting their clients file lawsuits against them, that's something that they're probably going to have to take a look at and reconsider. Like I said, it's par for the course 
for you know regular union folks um you know we we understand how to uh, how to avoid dfr charges we understand how to deal with them when they pop up unfortunately um but the nflpa might not be ready for this um and especially given the contentious nature between the nflpa and uh, roger goodell and the nfl office um, it might seem like some more of these cases might be coming down the pipe here um what's um you know, once this Lane Johnson case sits out, the NFLPA is probably going to have to take a hard look at the position it takes on its employees helping its members sue them, <laughs> right? That's a that's an interesting kind of conundrum. Uh, Mr. Johnson, again, uh, to get back to why I, you know, I brought this to bear, um, has a lot of skin in this game, but, and really the stakes are really high for him. His next uh, suspension, his next uh, bad test, could you know result in like a, a year long suspension? Um, he could be you know um, you know he could see, he could find himself in a world of trouble, um, especially considering the uh, contract extensions he just signed. So um, he's going to throw every possible thing he at, at this he can. Um, he's going to try to blame everybody he can, throw everybody else under the bus uh, because this is his livelihood at stake. Um, the NFLPA just finds itself in a really interesting position and uh you know after reading that it brought back a lot of memories of my days in the union movement um trying to figure out how to uh head dfrs off before they popped up how to deal with them once they showed up uh, but that like i said we had years and years of experience with that this is a new new day for the nflpa um wayne garner jumped on i appreciate it um uh, you guys will have to actually like uh the 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 bog itself um, and, and say something for me to be able to see it. Um, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Um, like I said, I'll be really, really looking forward to seeing how the NFLPA addresses this situation going forward. Um, it's really, uh, you know, like I said, they're tra they're, they are stepping out into some new waters. And with me having my WNBA um, certification pending and me, you know, um, going after my NBA certification, Later on this year, I want to see how these players associations are going to react to this stuff. Um, you know, players are obviously, you know, have their own self-interest at heart. I mean, they're, they're dedicated to winning. They want to win. They obviously want to be able to make money and, and feed their families. But at the end of the day, they're going to do everything in their ability to protect themselves. Agents, you know, that's part of an agent's role. That's probably one of the most important parts of an agent's role. Um, and to see how all of these forces interplay and where they are aligned and where they you know separate is really really interesting um again um just jumped on it to, to share those thoughts on that on that um if you guys have any questions please by all means hit me up again follow me on twitter uh follow me on, on uh, facebook here about my fairy law group page check in with the fairy law group live posts and by all means uh check out my website www.fairyalaw um, I did want to give a, a special shout out to uh, Andrew Chavez, who's really been helping me uh, break through with some of this stuff. I never thought, if you'd asked me last year, that I'd be doing Facebook Live posts for my own law firm. I never would have thought about it. He's got some really exciting things um, jumping off. I think we got a BuzzFeed page, a BuzzFeed page going, coming up, a uh, YouTube page. So we are really trying to make some moves here. Um, I appreciate all the support. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the birthday well wishes. Uh, let's have a good week, y'all. Rock on.